Hey guys, I'm Tamisa from T Style, and this is a blog, and this is a how to guide on how to make a hair bow. And basically, I was influenced to start wearing a hair bow by my what is it? What is she to me? She's my mentor in my head. Her name is June Ambrose, and this season she's really been wearing turbans. And so she influenced Chrisette Michelle, her, one of her clients that she styles, to wear the turban. And so Chrisette Michelle has been wearing the turban beautifully, as well as Solange, Beyonce's little sister, who's also an R&B single. So I was encouraged and inspired to wear something on my head, especially because um, Chrisette Michelle and um, Solange have short hair like me. A bow or a turban is a way to, you know, accessorize and make your hair, you know, cuter. I decided to take from the turban, but instead I didn't have a large enough scarf. So what I decided to do was make a bow. And bows are all about the size of your scarf. So, for instance, my bow right now, I'm going to take it off and untie it. Okay. My animal printed scarf is really large, and so that means my bow can be, you know, really large. I'm going to start with telling you how to, how I just did my bow. Fold your bow into a triangle. And then you're going to fold it until it gets to the end of the triangle, but you're going to want to fold it tight because it needs to stay. So I'm folding it really tight right now. And make sure that the ends are okay and they're following along with it. Okay. And then when you come to the end, you're going to want to tuck this last piece in so that it won't stick out at the end of your head. Wrap your bow around your head and then tie your bow into a knot. Okay. And so, this piece right here, make sure that this piece right here in the center of your forehead. So you want to make sure that that's right because it's important. Tie it this way, put bunny ears, almost like tying your shoe basically. And then you're going to wrap it around and tuck it underneath. And then you're going to pull it out. Okay. And so you're going to want to pull it out and you want it tight. Okay. And then you're going to take the extra pieces and tuck it underneath where you're not. So now you have a big knot in the middle, which is important to the bow. Then you're going to adjust it accordingly. Now this is, oops, this depends on your personality. Um, I personally want my bows to be big. So what I'm going to do is just take it and take the cloth and spread it out. And that's one side. And then the next side. And sometimes you're gonna have to play with it because they might not be even and do all that stuff. So you're gonna have to play with it a, bit, a little bit. Oh, perfect. And so this is a hair bow. This is your final result. I have a really big scarf, so that's why it's like this big. It's not super big, but it's really nice. It's really tight and you can tell it. And it's homemade, like you made it yourself. You didn't buy it. And if you have any questions on how to make a hair bow, like you want more steps or you just want to know more places you can get a cool hair bow, you can tweet me on Twitter at MiniPYT, um, M-I-N-I-P-Y-T-E-E, -E, or you can email me, TamisaC at gmail.com. Tamisa is a little difficult. It's T-Y-M-E-E-S-A-C at gmail.com. And thank you so much for watching How to Do a Hair Bow. Um, I'm so excited that you're watching this. And, yeah, so, wear your hair bow. Bold. Be bold, girl.